Hi everyone, this is Nick with True Games Interactive, and today I'm going to show you how to use the spirit system of Warrior Epic. The spirit system consists of three major aspects. The revival of warrior spirits, bringing warrior spirits into battle, and infusing monster spirits into your equipment. The first one that we're going to look at today is uh, the revival of warrior spirits. And to start that, you're going to want to go ahead into your, uh, into your hall. So let's go ahead and click Manage Hall. Once in our hall, you'll see a list of uh, options here. We're going to want to go ahead and click uh, Sanctuary. The Sanctuary is uh, where your monster spirits and warrior spirits are located. And as you can see here, once we're in the Sanctuary, uh, I've got my warrior spirits along the top pedestals here, and the monster spirits displayed along the bottom uh, pedestals here. And as you can see, as you progress through the game, you're going to attain uh, several different uh, warrior spirits, and these are placed in uh, many different rooms. So let's go ahead and uh, revive one of my favorite characters, which is the Penguin. So let's go ahead and click on him here. And as you can see, once I clicked on him, he was uh, teleported down to the bottom uh, pedestal here. Uh, to revive spirits, it costs uh, prestige points. And as you can see here, this one happens to cost seven prestige points. To revive the actual warrior, let's go ahead and click the revive button right here. Once you've clicked on that, it's gonna bring up a confirmation saying, would you like to revive this warrior? Let's go ahead and click yes. And as you can see here, it says Warrior was successfully revived. So let's go ahead and check him out now in the barracks. We're going to back out of the sanctuary here. We're going to click on the barracks, which is also located in your hall. And the barracks uh, holds all of your living warriors that you can actually bring into battle and play. And as you can see here, my spirit was revived. And there he is. Okay. The second aspect of the spirit system consists of bringing your existing spirits, warrior spirits, into battle. So let's go ahead and show you guys how to do that. Uh, to start, as you can see, I'm located in my war room here, and uh, just getting ready to get the mission started here. And as you can see, these blue tiles right here represent my warrior spirit tiles. So let's go ahead and click on one of those. And as you can see, when I click on it, it's going to immediately port me to my sanctuary, where I can select which warrior I'd like to bring into battle. Now, for this battle, let's go ahead and bring in uh, my Dungeon Archer. I like him a lot. And what he does is he, he throws a devastating blow from a uh, long range, and uh, he does uh, some pretty heavy DPS. So let's see what we got here. Also, you can go ahead and fill the uh, remaining slots if you wish. Uh, so let's go ahead and throw in uh, a Devo. She's got some good healing powers. What else do we got here? Let's do some massive DPS with uh, my Pit Fighter here. And lastly, let's go ahead and throw in my assassin. She does some pretty good DPS as well. Okay, so once we have that, uh, we're ready to go. And you just go ahead and click start, and you're good to go with your warriors. Okay, guys, the final aspect of the spirit system is binding your monster spirits into your equipment. So let's go ahead and show you guys how to do that. Uh, once again, from the main menu, you're going to want to go into Manage Hall. You're going to want to go up into Barracks so that you can access the Warrior. And let's go ahead and select, uh, again, my favorite character, the Pangolin. Now, once I've selected on my Pangolin, it brings up the, uh, the Warrior tab. Now, let's go ahead and click on the Equipment tab so we can access his equipment. Now, we've been ported to the, uh, the Equipment screen. Let's go ahead and upgrade the sapling rod. Now, as you can see on the sapling rod, uh, just next to the name, these are the different attributes that you can increase. So let's go ahead and see here. Let's see, plus one base normal damage. Let's go ahead and upgrade that. So to actually upgrade and uh, bind the monster spirit to the equipment, we're going to go ahead and click the upgrade button right here. This brings us to the equipment upgrade screen. Now, uh, just previous on the previous screen, um, I, I decided that I want to use the, uh, the plus one bonus normal damage uh, attribute. So let's go ahead and upgrade that. So you're going to want to go straight down, and you, as you can see here, it says bind spirit. We're going to go ahead and click on the flashy uh, animation here. And this is going to bring us to our sanctuary. Now, I'm going to click on uh, my monster spirit, and let's see what kind of monster spirits I've got. i got a Razorback level 20, that's pretty good and also a Jungle Peed Queen Spirit level 10. So let's go ahead and go with the, uh, the bigger one, which is the, uh, the Razorback level 20. And as you can see, it displays the before and the after. The before being zero, and after being, it's gonna raise me up to 4% of this actual level. 
So let's go ahead and uh, bind uh, this razor back to the equipment here. Go ahead and hit OK. And as you can see, this has now been highlighted. And I have uh, increased that attribute. Now as you proceed through the game, you're going to continue collecting uh, different monster spirits and you can continue applying those monster spirits to each of these tabs and all the equipment associated with each warrior. So that about does it for the spirit system tutorial. Uh, I hope you guys are having a fun time with Warrior Epic and uh, yeah, have fun. I'll see you in Providence.